Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be playing with some new stuff from Beauty Bay. I have been loving Beauty Bay eyeshadows. I've been purchasing palettes from them for a few years and I love the formula and I've been so curious to try more Beauty Bay products. So I have here with me some lashes, brow products, blush, bronzer, liners, lips, new eyeshadow palettes. We are going to play with it. These things were gifted to me from Beauty Bay, but I don't have to share them with y'all. I just want to. I want to test these products out. I have some brushes I've been using and testing. So we're going to try this stuff on the face. We're going to see how it goes. I'm excited because look, I have two new eyeshadow palettes and look, brights and bright mattes. Like we have lots of colors to play with. I want to play with these. I want to try these lashes. I want to do their brow products. They sent me one of their like, y'all know I like brow gels like this where you like rub the spoolie and it makes your brows go up because I, I need some brows on. Look at me. Look at me. I have lips, bronzers, blush. So on my face now, I just have everything else. <laughs> Primer, foundation, concealer, and my face is set with powder. Everything else we're going to put on together. We're going to test these products out. We're going to see what we think, create a look, have some fun. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new products, we are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots and lots and lots of new videos every single week, usually five, six, sometimes seven videos a week. So if you are looking for fun makeup content, new videos to watch, this is the place to be but look at me I need to put some makeup on this face so let's jump into it okay we're gonna start with brows first because I, I have to have my brows done before I can do eyeshadow I don't know it just like it frames everything out for shadow placement. So that's what I want to do. And I have brow products here. I have the, what is this? Eyebrow pencil in the shade Brownie. So there's a spoolie on one side. I like that. I like when I have a little spoolie. And then there is a like micro pencil on one side. And I also have more spoolies and this brush up brows brow soap so i am going to zoom y'all in and we will see what this brow like how this works okay i'm sorry i do kind of have to get up close with my mirror but i'm going to try to make sure i keep it out of the way so that y'all can see so i'm just going to go kind of like under my brow first my brow hairs out here are like completely blonde, so I'm just kind of following my natural shape, creating like just the underneath is what I'm lining out first. So far so good, I mean it's just performing like a micro brow pencil. Okay, normally I go into the front of my brow with the brow pen, but I don't have a brow pen to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to do powder to the front of my brows. And I have this brush set from Beauty Bay. So it has all these brushes and it came in like a brush roll. Really nice. I've been enjoying it. But there's a brush like this, like an angled brush. And then there's this kind of like pointed brush, maybe for liner. But what I think we're going to do is go in with a little powder. So I'm going to jump to the bright matte palette because there's a shade in here I think will work for my brows. So this is what this palette looks like. It's huge. It's all matte eyeshadows. Really, really pretty. But what I think I'm going to do is mix this brown shade right here and mix it kind of with this more ashy shade. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly kind of fill right here. We'll see. 
it may look kind of silly at first, but I think it's going to look a little bit better than using that pencil. Now I'm going to go in with the brow soap. So it looks like this and I'm going to take up spoolie. Beauty Bay has this little pack of spoolies. Let me cut it open and we'll play with this. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Milk Hydro Spray, and I'm just going to spray a little bit. Look, this is so almost empty, but I'm just going to spray a little bit in there to get this wet. I'm going to take the spoolie, rub it back and forth in there. Let's see. And then I'm just going to brush my brows up so that they'll stay exactly where I want them especially right here in the front I'm gonna brush it through like look they'll look kind of crazy I just want to make sure I get all the hair coated and then I'll lay them over exactly how I want them I'm going to fill in the other row and then I'll be back and we will play with some more products Okay, before anything else, I need to bronze up my face. It's kind of bugging me, so <laughs> I'm going to use the powder bronzer in the shade Caramel. I will say this packaging is very, very thin, but I think this bronzer is 7 or $8, and a lot of times these are on sale, so I kind of understand this type of packaging. I have used this a couple of times before today. And it's very, like, gently pigmented. My face is set with powder. Let me tell you what I have on my face, actually. I have on my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Been loving this. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Been loving it. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to review this later on for y'all, but I've really been enjoying this. Um, I have on my Dose of Colors Concealer. I set my under eyes with my Pat McGrath Medium Skin Fetish Sublime Powder. And then I set the rest of my face with my Dior Powder No Powder. So that's what this is going on top of, in case you're curious. I do have oily skin, but I like to glow. Like, I, I don't want to be all matte all the time. This is a Beauty Bay brush. This is that one from the set. I'll link everything down below for y'all. But see, this is very like gently pigmented. I'm tapping in several times and just going in and building it up. I found that that's the best way to work with this. But it does blend fine. I just kind of have to build it, you know. It's not a super pigmented. I think if you like a bronzer that's just kind of a light wash that you're not really going to go overboard on or if you're just starting into makeup you don't want to spend a lot and you don't want a bronzer that you're gonna mess up easily this one could be a good bronzer choice. I just normally prefer my bronzers to have a little more pigment right out of the gate. Okay, for blush, I'm actually going to layer my blushes. I have this shade right here, Peachy. So this is a matte blush, really, really pretty. I've worn that one before too. But this one is new to me. This is the shade Blossom. And you can see it's a little bit deeper than Peachy and it's a glowy blush. So I want to layer these two on top of each other. I think that will look super duper pretty. And then skip highlight. Just let this kind of glow. At least skip highlight on the cheeks. I'm going to use an eyeshadow um, to maybe highlight the nose and all. But first I'm going to take this brush also from the set. It's the BB105. And I'm picking this up. And I'm going to put this right on my cheeks. I kind of like to emphasize my little chipmunk cheeks, my little frog, bullfrog cheeks. They're huge. I might as well just blush them on up. So I'm going to put that like that. And then I want to lightly layer on this glowy blush. So I'm going to tap in there just once on each side of the brush like this. Well, twice on each side of the brush. And then I'm going to kind of pat that on 
to kind of just drape it on top whoops and give me a bit of a glow so I'm just kind of pressing this into the skin instead of sweeping okay I'm happy with how the face is looking now so I'm going to prime my eyes we're going to come in a little bit closer and we are going to play with this palette so I have the bright mattes I showed y'all that it's all matte shades rainbow palette but I also have just the brights so this one has mattes and shimmers in it and that's what I really really want to play with I want to create something just something with this uh, it does have a nice big mirror in here so I'm excited about that we're gonna play we're gonna play with this palette I've seen great reviews of both of these palettes so I'm very happy to add them to my collection I do have a Beauty Bay playlist on my channel I'm pretty sure yes I will have that down below for y'all too if you're curious about any of their other palettes if I've reviewed them or not but yeah I'm gonna prime my eyes and I'll be right back okay we have a lot of options in this palette there's a mix of shimmers and mattes. I really like that we have a white and we have a black. I like that the colors go from light to dark. That's very like pleasing to me to see light pink to dark pink. This kind of light orangey to deeper reds. We have the light blue to the, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't need me to tell you your colors. You know? <laughs> I just like that. It's very pleasing to me. But what I think I want to do first is maybe go in with this pink. Something about this pinky shade is like calling to me. So that's what we're going to do first. This is the shade Tutu. This is another brush from that set. Now, I have several Beauty Bay palettes. I know I've already told y'all that. If you're a new subscriber, I do have like the Wilderness palette, the Book of Magic, the Romantic palette they did for Valentine's Day, the Wilderness, the Jade palette, the Age of Opulence. Like, I buy a lot of Beauty Bay palettes and I really like their formula. So, I'm super excited to try this out. And that's what I want to see. Like, is the are these two palettes the formulas that I know and love from the brand? And so far, this pink shade is performing really well, not giving me any problems. Looking nice. Just going to swirl it on back and forth. Oh, I like this pink. It's bright and fun, and it's pretty cold here today, so... I need something bright and fun you know okay now I'm, I'm lugging this big thing up I want to go into this shade right here this kind of mid-tone purple I'm picking this up on another brush from that set gosh this palette's so big it does have a nice big mirror but man it is big to hold it up which you know most of the times you're not like holding eyeshadow palettes up but this is the shade called Modern Way. And I want something mid-tone to kind of buff out here. Just blending it to the lower, not to the lower lash line, to the lash line up and out above my crease. Mixing it with that pink to kind of create a custom shade. And blending out like that. That's pretty. Okay, I'm going to take this little Beauty Bay brush and I really want to go into this shade right here called Sapphire. This is a shimmer formula. Am I holding this up high enough? There we go. Sapphire right here. I want to put this along the lower lash line. So I'm just taking it like this. This is a shimmer shade and I'm just putting it on top of like my powdered under eye. I didn't put any eye primer anything down here. I did not spray my brush. This is just going right on top. I just want kind of this pop that's like blue that's purple leaning and it's especially going to look more purple next to the purple and pink that I have. Whereas I think it would pull more blue if I put it next to blue shades. 
Okay, let's go into this bright shade right out here. This is called Flamingo. I'm picking this up with another Beauty Bay brush. I'm gonna run the brush in here. I am gonna spray my brush to help minimize any fallout. Um, I have my milk spray right in front of me, so I'll use that, but any anything will work. Okay, I'm just going to press this right on the lid. Very pretty. Kind of wiggle it through the crease. It looks like this palette has just the matte and shimmer formula. It doesn't have any of those like special creamy shades that sometimes we find in like the Wilderness palette had those. Age of Opulence had those. Which some people don't like that formula so if you're one of those people who's like i don't really like that cream texture you could really like this palette and i so far i'm liking this palette too i really just like all the options i have but just so you know it's more if they are like traditional shimmer formula in here so far i mean this is just me using this palette the first time and looking at it like looking at it i don't see any of those creamy formulas but of course I can come back and review this palette for y'all later. I usually like to test things for a few weeks before I give you like my full thoughts and review at least having played with the palette and tried all the shades you know. So today we're just just looking at the colors seeing how they perform and so far so good. I'm really happy to have this like rainbow shadow in my arsenal. This one that has the shimmers and the matte one. I'm super happy to have that. I'm just going back and blending. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush from Game Beauty and we're gonna go into this deepest purple down here in the corner. This is called Drama Queen. Whoops, I'm knocking stuff over. This palette's so big, y'all. This brush is from Game beauty and I'm just going to use this just to deepen up this outer corner. So we had the mid-tone pink to the mid-tone purple and just kind of under that and lower I'm mixing in this deeper purple to give me some depth out here in the outer corner. Okay to highlight the inner corner I'm going to go in to this shade right here mixed with this white shade. I want to kind of pick them both up. Candid Candy Floss and White Lies. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner just like that. I didn't want stark white and I didn't want that pink pink. So I'm going to brush it on like that to kind of like open up that inner corner. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Candy Floss shade I'm going to run it down my nose and then I'm going to go back with a brush and just kind of diffuse it. There we go. Now I have these eyeliners. Uh, this one right here is the shade Coffee, so that's a dark brown. I'm not going to use that one today. I have the shade Vanilla, which is a nude color, or not nude, more like a cream vanilla shade. <laughs> Vanilla is the right word. Um, and then I have this shade, which is called Ink. So this will be black. Let's put it on the waterline and see. Okay, it, it doesn't want to come off very pigmented on the waterline. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't want to come off on the waterline. Um... It, I'm having to kind of press a little bit to get it to come off Ooh, on the upper lash line. Okay, we will see how this does. I'm going to line my eyes and then we've got lashes. I'm excited about these lashes because they look long and I like long lashes. These, it, these are the Faux Eyelash Trio. So I'm going to put on 
which pair, maybe the shortest pair, I'm going to put these on and then I will come back. Okay, who's surprised I actually decided to go with the bottom most dramatic pair? <laughs> I love it. I feel like this look is so soft yet dramatic, feminine. I'm here for it. I got this lipstick set. So it was like a, a matte lipstick set and it was like nudes but a bunch of different color nudes, four different color nudes. So cola which is more of a darker nude. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. That looks pretty. And then there is Pinch, which is kind of this, mm, that might be the one I wear today. Let's see. And then we have Freckle. That one's pretty too. And then we have T. T. That one might be a little too light for today, for what I want today. Let's do maybe pinch. Let's see what color this is. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Now I don't have a lip liner, so let me grab, let's see, let's just grab a melt lip liner in the shade Cashmere and I'll put it with this lip color. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. Let me give you a quick rundown kind of on what I think about these products. The brow pencil, it's fine. The micro brow, the brow soap, fine. Very comparable to other products I have in my collection, nice. The bronzer is slightly pigmented. Probably not gonna be my go-to bronzer, but you can build it up. I think it looks nice on the skin. The two blushes, I really like those. I think those look super pretty. The eyeshadow palette, beautiful. I think this looks beautiful. Of course, it's my first time using it, and it's a huge palette, but I do feel like it compares in formula to the other Beauty Bay palettes that I have. The mattes and the shimmers are that same quality from what I've tried. The lashes, I like a lot. I only tried the eyeliner a little bit. I don't know that I would recommend that. Just on my first impression, it was a little tuggy, a little hard to get on. The lip colors, I think really nice can't wait to play with them some more i think this shade looks really good though this is the shade pinch but yes i would like to know what you think and i would love to know are there any other brands you want me to test out like this it, it doesn't have to be like a full face if the brand doesn't have a full face range if you're just like heather i really want to see you try x y or z brand please let me know but i had fun testing more Pop more products from Beauty Bay. Like I said, I love so many of their eyeshadow palettes, so I'm glad that I got to try more of their line. Definitely let me know what you think. I just, I'm sorry, I can't stop like looking down at my eyes. I'm loving this pink purple vibe. I'm loving the full lashes, but I'm very hungry. It is time for me to go eat some breakfast. I hope you are having an awesome, amazing, super wonderful day, and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye.